In today's video, I'll give you my best advice for anyone who's trying to bring their legs up. What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. I used to be super skinny, man. Like, it was really hard for me to build any kind of muscles in my legs. I still don't have the biggest legs in the world, but compared to who? You should always compare yourself to your previous self. Compared to when I first started, I have made significant gains. Like I used to be super skinny and being a taller guy, it was almost impossible. I used to be like frustrated because it felt like no matter what I did, my legs were just never growing. And I wanted to compete in bodybuilding and everyone would tell me, oh, you should compete in men's physique because there are people are wearing shorts. I took that personal, man. I was like, nah, I want to compete in classic physique and for me to do that i had to really work on my legs and it used to frustrate me like i was saying because i was just not able to make the gains that i wanted to make to be able to get my legs to a point where i could compete in classic physique but not only that just build the balance and proportionate physique so i used to just do all different types of workouts i tried everything i pushed myself really hard but nothing seemed to be working until I started implementing this one tip that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video. So make sure you watch the video to the end to know exactly what I'm talking about. By the way, I did compete in classic physique. I won my class and won overall. I actually competed a few times because I just didn't wanna accept that my legs will never grow. So I worked really hard. I took that personal, man. I made it happen and I'm so proud that I did that. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how I went from being super skinny especially in my lower body to building a balanced proportionate physique so with the video till the end i'm recording this at home right now as you guys can see this is like my little home office where i do my work online coaching and all that because today i don't feel like driving and recording it was just a little too crazy the other day you guys saw the video and one more thing thanks very much to every one of you the recent feedback the comments the likes the views the subscribes it's just overwhelming man it's making me so happy so excited man i just feel like my craziest dream is coming to reality which is building a solid uh, platform on youtube and you guys are making it happen man so thanks very much i'm trying to post as much as possible but not only post a bunch of videos i want to keep on posting videos that you guys can enjoy and hopefully learn from let's get into this video let's get into it as you guys know man a good warm-up always leads to a good workout, so I like to take my time and just walk my way into the workout, not just rush and I know sometimes you don't have the time to do all that because you just need to get in and out, but as much as possible, man, you need to do your warm-up, feel good before you try to make your body do certain things. Before you try to make your body do certain things, make sure you feel good and be ready for it. People always ask me, man, how do you train every day? How do you recover this and that? You have to take care of yourself, man. That's it. Eat good, sleep. Make sure you do your warm up every time. And that's it. That right there is going to get me loose and ready. As a part of my warm up, I'm going to do some walking lunges. Just get a little bit more ready in the quads, glutes, hips. Anything with your muscles cold. Always get really warm, get blood flow in the muscles, and your muscles will let you do whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna start this workout with some leg curls. What these guys have in here is a two-in-one machine. 
So in this time machine you can do two leg curls and leg extensions, which is not my favorite thing in the world. I would rather just have one machine for everything, but I guess it works. Saves them money and space. So we're gonna do some leg extensions here. First light rep, light set of 20 reps. We're still warming up. I'll get another set of 20 reps with light weights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, now I felt the burn with that set. So now I'm going to do three walking sets here before we move on to some leg curls. Man, I wish I had my belt and my everything here, my accessories. When you go anywhere in the world in a proper bodybuilding gym, you can always borrow somebody's knee wraps and belts and stuff. It's just not an actual bodybuilding gym. It was a CrossFit gym, so a lot of people can work out here. They're actually outside still doing the CrossFit stuff. They use knee sleeves and stuff. It's really not knee wraps. And obviously knee sleeve is size based, so you can't just grab anyone's knee sleeves and use it. But no excuses. Okay, here we go. First work set. I'm gonna get 15 reps here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. I was a little too light. Today's video, I'm gonna finish the whole workout and give you guys the breakdown. This is like that, man. I'll be super crazy tired. I probably wouldn't be able to talk between sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Let me just add a lot of weight at once because it still feels a little too light for what I'm trying to do. I'll do one more set here and we'll move on. I'm definitely starting to feel my quads. This jog is about to get off soon. Walking around here with some short shorts. <laughs> We're not ready for that, man. for the leg extensions. I'm gonna flip this machine and go into some leg curls. Let's get this over with and go to the fun part. I don't even know how to adjust this shit. That's what you get for going to new gyms. This machine is a little bit complicated. Why can't they just get one for each? Ah.
right. Step number two. So I'm gonna get one more set here. I like seated uh, leg curl scenes, but the only thing is that this one is really difficult to adjust because it's two in one, so many fucking things. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really felt that. I'm gonna get one more set of these and then we'll get into the fun part, the squats. Make sure you watch the video to the end because I'm gonna really get into details and specifics about leg training. Last it. guys we're going into the best part the squats i'm going to be using the smith machine today make sure you watch the video to the end because i'm really going to break it down It's not the best light here with the pool machine because the camera is facing the light. I'll try to face this way and see if it makes it better. So, a little bit more weight now. I feel like I'm getting my way around this machine right next to the wall. good my back is good no tension in my knees or my back even though i'm not using the belt or the knee wraps now i'm gonna go up in weight i'm gonna go three plates now and stay there for two sets of much effort and move on to the other exercise make sure you guys watch the video to the end so you can get the full breakdown because today i'm going into specifics and details like i said this squad uh, smith machine is brand new so if you guys have any idea how it feels when you use this brand new Smith machine. It's not smooth yet. So 
the bar is just like there is friction and the weights feel that much heavier. But I like it, I'm feeling it, so let's go. set with three plates I feel like I'll drop it and get it. another set with two plates just to get the room with the more reps let's see how I feel by the end of this set So I'm not gonna do one burnout set, two plates before I leave the squats. are burning like crazy Ooh, that's a lot for the squats now now I'll move on to some leg presses try the new leg press machine here and yeah let's get it man I'll do that and one more exercise and I'll give you guys the breakdown. We're almost at the end of this workout. Stay with me. The next exercise we have is the leg press. angling of this leg press is crazy feels good but definitely something I'm not used to now I'm starting to have tension in my lower back Ooh. When it hits like that, when it just catch, can't do anything. Workout gonna be done though. I don't give a fuck what happened afterwards. <laughs>
as you guys can see, I'm not going crazy deep here with the leg press because my lower back is pretty much fucked from the deep squats in the Smith machine, which was really good. But here I have to be more careful not to go too deep and have my back roll because then this workout is gonna end right now. <laughs> so just gonna go deep enough to where I can feel my quads. exercise and I'll give you guys the breakdown but of course I'm gonna do calves as well like I always say don't skip your calves even if they're not growing bigger train them to get them defined and as you get leaner you see vascularity in your calves and it actually looks bigger than it is if you don't train your calves they're gonna be small flat no veins no definition it's about definition guys it's not always about size so there's no reason to come to the gym and work out and skip a certain muscle just because it's not growing bigger. It's ridiculous. The fact that it's not growing bigger means you have to actually train it harder. So no skipping calves here are team motivated. Last exercise for this workout before I hit calves to finish with. We will do some walking lunges with the dumbbells. this workout with some calf races and we'll get into the breakdown real quick let's go let's throw in some more weights there sinks we can get the full stretch down
let's get into the breakdown guys this is what you do if your legs are not growing listen all your exercises whatever weight you're doing right now cut it into half if you're squatting 100 kgs cut it into half perfect your form perfect your form to be 100 percent with that 50 kgs to where you can squat two to three seconds down and push your way up and really work on feeling the muscle forget about the weight for now once you get comfortable with that start building slowly from there and the whole time now going back up in weight make sure that form stays the same it makes no sense to squat really heavy or do anything really heavy if the form is not perfect please cut down the weight work on your form perfect your form and build back up don't think oh i'm happy adding weight now i'm at 100 kgs i want to get to 200 i don't have time to cut down the weight but your legs are not growing so cut down the weight you already have the strength you have the raw strength you're just not using it properly in order to develop your muscles once you cut down the weight and perfect the form and get that mind muscle connection going back to 100 kgs is going to be easy but if you just keep on focusing on increasing weight without actually perfecting your form to do the things that actually make your muscles grow you can increase weights from here to i don't know where thousand kgs but your legs are still going to be chicken legs so it's about the form it's about it's about the technique it's about the perfecting the form it's about the contraction because one thing you cannot do is continue to increase the weights forever at some point you can't lift any heavier than what you already lifted so what do you depend on the only thing you can count on to keep on making progress is your form is your technique so please just apply this for once and see for the next four weeks how you feel i'm gonna keep this video short because it's already too long but this is the one tip i want to share with you guys cut down the weight perfect the form to where you are squatting two to three seconds down full reps Pushing your way, way up, contracting your legs every time you go up. Try that for four weeks and see how that works. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.